Africa. The first one, of course, was organized in India. The second one, I had the fortune of uh, being there in Bangalore, along with uh, Honorable Marshal Pereira. The first theme, I'm not sure what it was. The second theme was quite interesting. The one was held in Bangalore, was on peace, personality, and prosperity. I was attracted by this title and then and went there and experienced the five days of, um, of, uh, of hospitality, the first thing, and then uh, interaction with uh, a lot of good friends and all of them are here. Firstly, the, the Ethnic Foundation and uh, Master G, uh, Ma Avantika, uh, and uh, the entire team for having come all the way from India to organize. I know the difficulties that we would have had in organizing a seminar. If it's in the capital, probably it's easier. But you are about uh, 225 kilometers away, deep within the bowels of... Uh, I also thank the Sri Lankan team, comprising a number of uh, good friends. I can't mention by names, of course, Yasa is a doctor, Yasa, city water, and then we have a city safe, and then we have a large number of other friends. If I don't mention your name, please pardon me, but I think we have put in a lot of effort to make this uh, program a successful event, and we will continue to do that, this goes to the coming days. And I thank the visitors who have come all the way from Nepal, in India, and uh, from Czech Republic as Anurag uh, mentioned. So to all of you, I think uh, do my own bit of gratitude on behalf of uh, last but not least, I must thank our little governor of the Uber province for having given us all these facilities and also made it possible to these officers to make this program uh, a successful one. And um, I must uh, an interesting uh, aspect of this. We are assembled in a province, Uber, where the first rebellion against the British rule took place. We have had the greatest national field, uh, capital uh, design, and 16 people were beheaded. Resisting British imperialism at the time. So I think it's a problem that we are seeing in this province. And in this province, I think you have all the communities of Sri Lanka living, the Sinhala population, then you have the Tamil Zoya, the plantation sector, then you have the largest number of uh, the, the original inhabitants. Call it, in India, you call Alibasis, part of the term. So these, all these, uh, and, various, uh, and of course, uh, various religions, religious uh, faiths are in, uh, are in this province. So it has been very appropriate that uh, we chose this province, and I thank the local organizers of uh, Sri Lanka and Common Party for having done this. Uh, to have uh, his death to have. Uh, I think the foundation and uh, the, the counterparts in Sri Lanka have uh, embarked on a number of uh, programs on the agricultural front and also on the on the medical side. The I suppose uh, programs related to uh, traditional medicine uh, and uh, See, the Kushi, as we call it, are all two men that are being uh, thought of. And interestingly, you might be probably Sri Lanka person who is to know that the Ethnic Foundation and the PDF here, they have contemplated on selecting a village. It's one of our crucial problems. One of our crucial problems happens to be what we call the chronic uh, kidney disease. Chronic kidney disease, unknown, you just called it at that time, probably not known, but the causes are. And 
This is prevalent in certain parts of the the the, the north central, I mean, yes, north central province, and uh, parts of this province too. Even in Manyanga, I think we have detected cases of chronic health, uh, chronic disease, and and then uh, every foundation and uh, our local counterparts have found a, a possible solution. We have actually, they have actually selected one of the villages, or three villages, one in Ambal, I think, and they're going to embark on this program, three. Uh, one in Mahindana. So anyway, uh, we are on some constructive programs that are possible ways of getting over uh, this chronic uh, kidney disease. One is through purifying your soil, your water, your seed, Things like that. So, what I told uh, uh, just yesterday to Anurag was seeing if we, instead of giving talks, go into the villages and prove to the people that there are ways of cure. Because uh, then it is uh, traditionally we have known uh, cures for these uh, illnesses, cures for uh, several illnesses we have known. We have not practiced them. So, um, so it's, it, it's actually a question of uh, applying what we know already traditionally. Now, talking about harmony, I think uh, the disharmony was created more by the probably we, we got certain Western ideas, Western technology, Western methods. This did not have this. This, 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 not that this created this harmony, but we could not harmonize. We, we didn't know how to harmonize this. As a simple example of, uh, excellent example of technology. Technology is a good thing and sometimes it's a bad thing. It, it, it depends on the person who uses it. 